Hey folks, in this video we are going to take a look at how to create a registration page in Zoom. So if you are going to do an event in a Zoom meeting and you want people to register first and then they get like the invites and stuff like that, this is what you would do. So as always you go to the Zoom website, zoom.us, and you select sign in. Once you sign in, you're going to put in your credentials. So that's going to be your, your username and your password, and you're going to hit sign in. Once you get to your home page, which will be, it'll put you on the meetings page, you're actually going to create your own schedule of meeting. Uh, and it's usually this button right over here on the right uh, that's blue, little plus sign. So you're going to select that button. And then you're going to actually first just, you know, put the information for your meeting. So, you know, it's going to be amazing, super gathering, uh, because obviously uh, you can add a description if you want. So that will show up when these are put into uh, the calendar. It'll give that description. You can set the time. So, you know, we will, we will set this into the future. We're going to put it on the 29th and we're going to put it at a particular time. We're going to do... Uh, let's do 6 p.m., not 6 a.m., and, you know, we're going to make it an hour. Down here is where it gets useful, is that you can register, or sorry, you can have registration required. So you're going to select that, and then you might add other features as you may want or need. All of these things, check out, you know, you can make these other adjustments, come down here for your options, um, and determine do you want them to join anytime, before, after, all of those things. Do you want it automatically recorded? All that stuff. When you're done, you're going to hit save. And when you do that, it's going to bring you to your meeting that this meeting's uh, like information or details page. And so right here is the registration link. Um, you know, you can also add it to your calendar, etc. So you got that great information. But what you're looking for is right up here, these little tabs. And so we're going to go over to registration. This is, of course, going to show us, you know, what the who it's going to show us when we have people like who who has registered. And then we can start to look at that. Uh, but it's also going to show us options. And so we want to first adjust options. And then here it is going to ask us when participants submit registration, are they automatically approved? Do they be, need to be manually approved? Uh, do you want to send an email to the host every time somebody registers? Do you want to close registration? after the meeting, a couple different decisions to just read through and think through. Do you want them to be able to join multiple devices? Uh, for some folks, that's going to be really helpful depending on their, their access and, and how people use it. So, you know, do you want share, showing, you know, share buttons on the registration page or show join information, all of that stuff. Great. The other thing that's here is the questions tab. And this is where you can actually identify what's the information that you want to gather from them when they are registering. And so some things that make sense is like, well, you want a name, you need an email. Like those are probably essential. You don't necessarily have to do first and last name, but it's probably not a bad idea. Uh, depending on what your activity is, you might ask for the city or state. Uh, you might ask for the number. You might want to understand who they are and where, you know, their industry, etc. All those are great. Uh, and there's even a questions and comments button, you know, one. So if, if it's something I want, I'm going to click the checkbox on the left. If it's something I'm going to require, I'm going to check the checkbox on the right under the required. And notice up here, it tells you how many are required and how many enabled fields you have. But what's also cool is you can add a question. So if I want to add a question, I select add a question. It's going to give me this little prompt that like, please do not solicit confidential information such as credit card or social security. That is a thing you want to pay attention to. Uh, but what it does is now it spits out this question format up here. And so it gives question one and you can rename it that you can name it the type of question you want to ask. Uh, you know, the idea is that in this field, it's the type of question and then, uh, or it's, I'm sorry, in this field, it's the question. And then you need to clarify what the, what the question type is. So in this case, it's saying, oh, the question type is short text. Uh, they might be writing a word or two or a sentence. But if you click on that, you can also change it to single choice. So if you want them to be able to make a choice, maybe the question is, you know, will you be, you know, how will you be attended? Actually, let's make that, uh, let's make that question right now. So I'm going to do single choice and we will ask, uh, will you, if I can spell, 
will you be attending the event or just watching the recording? And so I'm going to do option one. It's going to be attending, if I can spell yet again, the event. Option two is going to be watching, watching the recording. And option three is going to be both. And what the hell, I'm going to be silly and say neither. Right? So we have now have this question here. It's part of the registration. We have the box checked, so they are, will be required to answer that. And now that's all done, I can hit save. And now I can add another question, or if I think that's all I need, I can hit save all. And now that's all been created. I can hit perfect, it's all set up. If I come back to the details page, here's that registration link. And so I can click on it. And here's what it's going to show me. You know, first name, last name, email, how will I be attending the event, and any questions or comments. Um, so that's it. That's how you can set up a registration page for a Zoom meeting uh, if you have the need to do that in some context. Hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have other questions.